Behold the NVIDIA GTX 960. The other Maxwell cards are a huge success with their ultra low TDP, high overclocking results and affordable pricing. Today we'll be taking a look where the GTX 960 sits in the NVIDIA lineup and whether it's a worthy replacement for the aging GTX 760. Club 3D's MST Hub can run three monitors off one display port. No daisy chaining required. Click now to learn more. This is the ASUS Strix GTX 960. As with every other Strix card, it's designed to be completely silent even under full load. On the front, you'll notice the owl-inspired metal shroud with two 75mm fans that hide four beefy heat pipes underneath. On the back, you'll find something that's not usually included for cards in this price range, a backplate. The card is powered by just one 6-pin connector with a TDP of 120 watts. Finally, on the side, you'll find one DVI, one HDMI, and three DisplayPort connectors. As you've probably guessed, the GTX 960 fully supports NVIDIA's G-Sync, so these DisplayPorts are a very welcome sight. The GTX 960 is built on the new GM206 architecture, which features 1024 CUDA cores, a base clock rate of 1126 MHz, a boost clock of 1178 MHz, and two gigabytes of VRAM. NVIDIA designed the GTX 960 to be the sweet spot for gaming as it provides the best performance per dollar compared to their other cards. It's got the usual NVIDIA features from the higher end cards like Shadowplay, G-Sync, GeForce Experience, Shield Game Streaming, and Auto Game Optimization. So let's see how it performs. We threw in the Strix 960 into this NCX PC with an Intel 4690K processor, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, an ASUS Zen 97i Plus ITX motherboard, an H60 CPU cooler, a 256 gig Corsair Force LX SSD, a Corsair 80 Plus power supply, all housed in this tiny little Corsair 380T case. If you're interested in the system, you'll You'll find more details by clicking here or in the link below. First up, 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme Synthetic Benchmark. As you can see, the GTX 960 is over 19% faster at stock speeds compared to the old GTX 760. In the more demanding Firestrike Ultra, we get an improvement of over 31%. Next is the resident favorite Battlefield 4. At 1080p on the Ultra preset including anti-aliasing, we jump from a minimum of 51 FPS to 63 FPS when compared to a 760. Next up we have the Metro 2033 benchmark. With a minimum of 12 FPS, it's about 33% faster than the GTX 760. While the average FPS is pretty similar with only an increase of 7%, it's the minimum FPS improvements that you'll notice in games. Even the GTX 970 had a minimum of 15 FPS and an average of 46 FPS, so you can see how demanding this benchmark really is. Lastly is Far Cry 4. At 1080p on an ultra preset, the difference here is actually pretty small as we compared the 960 to the 970. The 960 was bottlenecked by having only 2GB of VRAM, our 970 however has 4GB of VRAM and during the benchmark we saw the game using up to 3.9GB. But Jack, you say, stock speeds are so boring, what about overclocking? Well, we've got you covered there as well. NCX Anthony managed to boost the core clock to 1443 MHz or 23% higher than stock. He was only able to boost the memory clock to 7550 MHz, but the most impressive part was the efficiency of the GTX 960. Even after overclocking, we maintained a maximum temperature of 63 degrees with a barely audible fan running at just 35% speed. For the record, the case fans were actually louder than the video card under full load. Overall, NVIDIA hits the sweet spot pretty well with the GTX 960. With such a low TDP and price point, the GTX 960 makes a perfect upgrade for people who have a pre-built system or are looking to get into gaming. We bench the card in the worst case scenarios with maximum settings and anti-aliasing enabled. In the real world, you can expect this card to max out games like League of Legends and Counter-Strike GO while having to drop down to medium or high in more demanding games like Evolve or Dragon Age Inquisition. Alright, that about wraps it up for this GTX 960 video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments below what card you currently have and if you'd like to upgrade to a GTX 960. And as always, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from NCIX.